What's up people out there on the internet? My name is Paddy Graham and I'm a backcountry skier from the UK. Today I'm going to show you how to spice up some of those sweet powder turns. Nothing's better than a powder turn, especially on a day when you've got fresh snow. But, you know, just, just doing some normal turns can get a little bit boring. You can't do powder eights all day. So I'm going to show you some slashes, some sprays and how to get the face shot. Alright, before we get started, remember your backcountry essentials backpack, shovel, probe, and your beacon. And remember to learn how to use them because they're backcountry safety essentials. Also, don't go skiing alone. Grab your friends. Whoever said there are no friends on a powder day was bullshitting you. The easiest way to get a little bit more creative with your turns in powder is to start doing a few different varieties. First up, it's the face shot. It's the easiest and probably the most enjoyable. You've seen it in ski movies when guys do a big turn and then they come out of a big cloud of smoke, usually with a smile on their face. That's because it feels awesome. And here's how to do it. So it's a little bit different to your classical turn. You're gonna to wanna to come in and crank your skis sideways as hard as you can. And that's gonna make you skid across the snow and bring all of it up in the air and achieve that white room. Then you're gonna revert back to forwards and come out of the cloud of snow. The deeper the snow, the more speed you're gonna need. So, like everything, you can start, start small, you can go a little bit slower in less deep snow and really get that feeling for the turn. So you want to watch out for variable snow. You don't want to get your edges caught on anything, so you want a nice, smooth place to do it, and the deeper, the better. So a bit of advice for you guys, if you don't want to get a cold face, wear a face mask. Next up is the slash. It's gonna make you feel like a surfer carving up the waves. And the key to a good slash is doing it on different kind of terrain. You're gonna to wanna to look for bumps, banks, and spines to, to really push out those turns on. Similar to something like that behind. So in order for a good slash, speed is key. You don't wanna to take too much and totally overshoot one of the features you found. So when in doubt, start slow and work your way up. What's great about a slash is that you can test out gravity. So whilst you're turning on these features and stuff, get as low as possible and see how far you can take it. While you're skiing powder, don't forget the basic fundamentals of skiing. You wanna be turning on your outside ski and you wanna keep your weight central, just like on the slopes. My advice to you is to do a slash or a spray right after you've just dropped a cliff or you've landed a trick. Show off to your friends and show them who's boss. For all you ambitious skiers out there, the next thing to try is the Nose Butter 360. They're pretty hard, so you want to start off trying them in not so deep snow. You're basically going to ride along and you're going to pop up and do a 180 onto your noses, ride your noses a little bit, and then do another switch 180 and come around forward. My advice to you is to try a Nose Butter at the end of the day because you might get hooked up and fall over, and then you're gonna end up with a load of powder down your jacket, and you're gonna get wet. And remember, never give up. Nose butters are hard for everyone, even the pros. And of course, after every great powder day, you have to boast to all your friends how good it was and how much they missed out. The best way to do this is via social media. Put a post up on Instagram and tell everyone how good it was and how lame their day was, even if your day was lame too. Remember the hashtag, my day was better than yours. Nice shot, dude. Awesome. 